right, our guest Brandon says that he knew his wife Tiffany was a flirt. Brandon believes Tiffany has been cheating on him with multiple men. Ooh. Wild, right? Listen, everyone, please welcome Brandon to the show. Good to How meet you, you Brandon. How Good you doing? Good to meet you, too. Yes. All right. all right, so, Brandon, we got to get right into this. Uh, Why do you think your wife is cheating on you? Well, it all started back when I was, uh, we was all working. Mm -hmm. uh, I met her at the job. It was a cold day. I didn't have a ride home, and I ended up just seeing her walking. I asked her, could she give me a ride? She didn't give me a ride, you know? Um, we hit it off from then on, you know? What, what <laughs> evidence do you have, or what has she been doing to make you uh, think she's cheating on you? Look, when I first uh, got with her and stuff, though, everything was cool, you know? Uh, I didn't know that she was, I didn't know that she had somebody else that she was actually dating and stuff at the same time. Got it. You know? Has she ever admitted to you that she cheated in the past? Uh, actually, yeah, you know, she told me that she messed with her ex and stuff, though. We was, we was, we had, uh, we was, you know, going back and forth and stuff. We got a little argument at one time, and I think we, she was trying to be a little bit petty to me. So what happened when you called out sick? I decided to call out and stuff, though, but then I called her to just see what she was doing. She picks up the phone, and... Behind her, I thought, I think she was trying to go to another side with it so I couldn't see who was over there she was talking to. Because every time I would talk to her, the camera would go this way. You know, you can hear her, but you can't see her, you yeah. know? I saw, so I, I sat there and I seen the dude in the background. And this was a dude that me and him really didn't get along for real. Yeah. So dude turned around and uh, she, hang up the, she hung up the phone and stuff, though. I called her back. I'm calling her back on the phone. She would never pick up. All of a sudden, she pick up on my dude. So why you can't pick up the phone and stuff, though? She's like, uh, um, I'm busy right now. I said, uh, with dude in the background? I already seen him in the back. You know what I'm saying? What'd she say? She gonna start giggling, laughing. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay. Hang up the phone on him. Is there anything else suspicious that's happened? I was at my apartment one day. I decided, I woke up, I decided to go get me a black from the store. I left my key at the house. I got in the car and I left. Came back and I'm, I'm knocking on the door and stuff. You know, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. Like, ain't nobody answering, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? I know she in here, you know, I had my, I had my radio on low. Yeah. She still wouldn't answer the door. So I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I'm knocking on like the police now. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I, somebody up in here, I know. Yeah. You know, I run, I run around, I goes around to the side of the building. I'm like, cause you know, I, I'm on this, I'm on the second floor, you know. I'm on this, yeah. I go around, to, I'm looking and stuff, cause I want to see if, if he come out here, I want to be there. Uh -huh. If he come out the front door, I want to be right there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I go around both times. She, he didn't, she didn't say nothing. He didn't come out. He didn't, he didn't come outside and see nobody at first. So I'm knocking on that mug again. This time, the neighbor, my neighbors and stuff started coming out. They all like, everything okay? Yeah. Everything all right? I'm like, yeah, man, somebody in, she's in the house though, but I can't, I can't get it open up the door and stuff though. So then I go back around, I curve back around to the side so I can see, like, kind of see both this sides, you know? I, I, I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> I'm trying to see both sides. I'm like, I got to see, you know? Yeah. Came, to the, came back to the front door. Then all of a sudden, the dude, he, he, it, was, it was a dude that stayed upstairs. You know, they had already been eyeballing each other back and forth throughout the time we come and go from our apartment. Yeah. He comes back around like he all out of breath. <gasps> oh, man. She opened the door two minutes later. Her hair all... You know, frizzy wow. and stuff. Though. I go straight back to my room. I got these, I got the, I had the new windows and stuff where you gotta push the little lock down to lift it all the way up or else it just, you know, go up uh -huh. a little bit. I never opened this window before ever, you know. I always keep it, I working overnight, so I keep it dark and cool in there, you know. I go to the, I go to the thing, my curtain a little bit ripped. The locks, the locks that you're supposed to push in, they're broke. Like somebody was trying to hurry up and just j pull it up and stuff. The locks is broke. I look at her. I say, "Hey, how my locks get broke?" Ah, uh, I guess I guess now I had somebody in here. Now I guess I'm, I guess some man was in your house. Oh my Hold god! Hold on, after banging on the door like the police, you said, "Did that come?" Yeah. You oh said somebody my, was in here. No, no. I said I was. I'm sitting there like this. You had to be heated. I, uh, okay. I was okay. Saying. I knew you was heated. I'm like, you saw he was like. I'm oh, sitting there like. My locks are broke. I knew you had I'm to be heated. I'm like, sitting there like. Okay. I'm okay. sitting there like this. Hold on, y'all. So that's that's a wild story. Let's be real. That's a wild story. Yeah. So you're married right now, right? Yeah, I'm married. How long have you been married now? Uh, about seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. Yeah. So there's something still about her that you love that you want to see this will it work. You know, everybody make mistakes, though, you know what I'm saying? I made a whole lot of them. That's why I decided to kind of forgive her for hers, you know Got what I mean? it. Okay, then I understand. At least you own it up. So you said that um, Tiffany has some bad behaviors. Oh, what man. What are bad behaviors? 
Let me show you. Not sneaky. <laughs> sneaky. All the time, she's either going through my stuff or everywhere I'm at, she be in the opposite place, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And flirtatious. Every time we go somewhere, you know what I'm saying? She wear, she want to wear the, the leggings with no panties in. You know, she always she always got to drop stuff and bend over, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm always yeah. sitting there like, dang, you know what I'm saying? You, okay. Undressing men with us. Every single time we go somewhere, she always eyeballing people up and down. I, I'm telling you, you a pretty good looking man. You better watch out when she comes out. Wow. She might she say, you, you, might, you, you might be next. You might be next, I'm telling you. Always. Let me, let me come out. She about to undress me. I, and Patty, like Patty's my number one thing though because she always be petty with stuff though. She'll get mad at me or if I don't do something she want me to do right away or something. Yeah. She'll get mad, she'll start doing the crying. She'll start doing the crying game, you know? Wow. Trying to act like uh, I'm doing her so wrong because I don't jump at that moment when she want me to jump. Yeah. You know? So you said that your mo her mom is trying to ruin your relationship. Oh man, her mom always in our business. Every time I turn around, it's like I told her it might as well just be us three married together. Yeah. So listen, I just want to know this because we see you said she's sneaky. She about to undress me. Yeah. We we uh, heard all this <laughs> stuff. Okay. Like, I see. Understand. So why did you marry Tiffany? Like I need to know what was the quality about her that you loved you know her that though, you want to marry her. I mean, I mean, you know, when we have good times, though, we do have good times, don't she? Real, she could be real sweet. So, do you want to save your relationship? I do. Will you do anything to save your relationship? I will. You will. Good. Okay, then. I will. Everyone, I think it's now time to meet Tiffany. Everyone, welcome Tiffany to the show. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi. How dare you even say I cheated uh, on you, like, for real? Oh, uh, man, she We all, weren't together. So he blocked me. He told me he never wanted to talk to me again. So I had yeah. called my baby's father over. Then she he came over, over my house. seen my son. One thing led to the next. I felt mm. guilty about it. I did. Would you be willing to unlock your phone today? That's fine. Go through my phone. You'd be Go willing to unlock your phone? It. Go through it. <laughs> Go through it. Because I think if he's saying there's trust issues, I think we can find out a lot of this and get real clear Go facts. Go through it. I don't care. But something popped up. You said that you talked to other women on Facebook. Would you be willing to unlock your phone? <laughs> exactly. Because I think, I think, it's, a, I think it's important. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Are, are you willing to unlock your phone? I got, I got, I got some old stuff there, in there. You got some old <laughs> stuff okay, in Okay, listen. There. Listen, we're, I'm only going to be looking for the time period that you all said that you're together and that you're questioning it. Would you be willing to unlock your phone? She said she's uh, willing. If you, uh, you said you want to save your marriage. Uh, my question for you, uh, my question for you is I are will, you willing to do anything? Look, I will, I'll, said, be, I'll be honest, said. I'll be honest. You know what? Me and her been on a rough patch where she moved, she moved out and got off the lease. She got out the lease. She took her name off the lease. She got all of her clothes. She got all of her stuff out of the place. I get it, you've been through a rough patch. No, I'm saying though, and, and see, when she did that, I didn't really think she was coming back. You know what I'm saying? I didn't suspect her to come back. So, I, was, I mean, I was sitting there like, you know, trying to keep my mind off of it. I mean, that, that's who I've been with for a so while. So you're basically so. saying that you had, you I were had cheated. conversations, conversations with other people. Well, but I've, I've never, like, slept with nobody Okay, else. so, th but I think we can put this all to end. You said you're willing to do anything to save your marriage. Those were your words. I asked you yeah. that. Are you willing to unlock your phone? She's willing to unlock hers. This will she be quick. She ain't got nothing to hers. <laughs> Are you willing to unlock yours as well? We're about to go through this. A yes. Uh, <laughs> the answer yes? I mean... Yeah. How far you want to go back? We're going to go for the period <laughs> that you need. What period y'all got? Uh, I mean, I, I, I can be honest about my Okay, mind. great. Let like, we I go. Mean, so, is there anything specific you need to look for? Facebook. Facebook? Okay. I'm gonna go through. If y'all can bring me the phones. <laughs> Drop it in. Drop it in. I Drop, it in. Try. Drop it in. <laughs> oh man. All right. Before we unlock this phone, is there anything you want to own up to? No. Nothing at all. Nothing. We now know that we have found zero text when it comes to photos. We found zero photos that were suspicious, and apps, DMs, everything was zero. There was nothing found. She just found All right, so we unlocked your phone as well. Um, all right, when it came to text messages, zero text messages were found. When it came to photos, zero photos were found. And <laughs> when it comes to apps, three apps, suspicious apps were found. On these suspicious apps, 
messaged 42 different women on the Snapchat over the last three months. I need close friends to Kansas friends with benefits. Where you at? Great, big, I can't put it up, and love to... You put that out there, right? Oh, you. I put that out? That was yours. You also said, for real, for real, you want to, where you at, but I'm down, can I come through? What you doing? You were trying to have sex, right? I mean, it was just friend. I mean, look, she, me and her. That's. I mean, she right, was. She was. That's what she was doing. Her. She was doing her thing. Though. Listen, you just. You just admitted that you said you didn't have sexual hey. relationship. We didn't find look. you. We didn't find any of these women that you actually engaged with. All right, there ain't no way that I was about to. You see the messages. Okay, so this is my question for you. This is my question for you. How do you feel about the messages? I'm hurt. You're hurt. Tell him. I'm hurt. I already knew you were talking to women, but stuff yeah. like that, like for real. She said she sat there and did what she did though. Leave and go I for left a whole because week. I was tired of the nah, accusations. See, I was tired even... of the treatment. She admitted to you that before your relationship, she had sex. She admitted with her ex. She admitted it. She told you. What's the relationship really like? For me, it's toxic. I, I just stopped caring. That's why all of that stuff was up there. I just stopped caring after a while. The relationship is unhealthy. I know it's unhealthy. One of y'all have to make the decision to end this relationship because you're just in a pattern of being toxic. It's an unhealthy right. relationship. Let's be real here. What's keeping y'all together? I just go, she had to ask. What's, what's, what's keeping you with him? I and don't, don't say it because I love him. I don't even know. This is still not the man for you. You understand? And this is not the woman for you. That's just real. I mean, look. You're not going to have peace. There's, they're not going to have peace. This, the foundation of this relationship was broken from the beginning. Y'all got to leave this relationship. That's the only advice I can give y'all, is that y'all have to be strong enough to leave this relationship. Because from what I witnessed backstage, what I witnessed on here, y'all are not meant to be together. And that's what's going on. So I get it. You say you're not trying to hurt her. But you know what you can do to really show her you don't want to hurt her? Say, I wish you the best life and I'm going to leave. I really didn't want to go, you know, like, just be doing stuff behind her back because then I can't really look in her face for real, you know what I'm saying? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I just, it was just like, I get oh, it. I just said forget. I get it. So you already, you already told you want to leave. Let me talk to her alone really quickly. You deserve something better. You really do. You don't have to settle for men who are doing this and accusing you. You got to start practicing your self-esteem. You got to wake up and see the beauty of who you are. Can you tell me one thing right now that you love about yourself? Just try for me. One thing you love about yourself. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm like, girl, this is the only cute thing on me is my eyebrow, okay? I promise you. And I will stick with that all day long just to get myself something to hold on to and I don't feel good. What is there that you can hold on to right now? Nothing. I don't your, have anything. Does your, does your child love you? Does your child think you're a great mom? <laughs> Look at that. You're a great mother. There's one thing. I'm looking at you right now. You're beautiful. You're vulnerable. This vulnerability that you're showing in front of people you don't even know is a strength. So even if you don't know anything else, start right there. I just gave you three things. You're a great mom. You're beautiful. You're vulnerable. Repeat them to yourself every morning. I promise you, you'll start to find out other things you love about yourself. Yeah? This is day one for your self-esteem. So when you get home in the mirror, what's the three things you're gonna start by saying? I'm a good mom. What else? I'm beautiful. Yes. What else? What else? What else? Your vulnerability is your strength. Your vulnerability is my strength. You got it? <laughs> and so much more. And so much more. I like that ad as well. <laughs> you gonna be all right? Let's build this up. Build this up, okay? Build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Build it up, build it up okay? Hold on, where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going, right here to subscribe, and right here to watch more, period.